There are tons of legendary animation studios like Toei Animation, Madhouse, Ghibli, Studio Parrot who have been making anime for decades and have been serving this industry loyally and wholeheartedly. Until One guy from Madhouse Productions decided to revolutionize how anime is produced and created a studio from scratch that is now probably the most renowned animation studio in the world. Mappa's path to success has been a long one. Along with praise and adoration, the studio has come in for its fair share of criticism. The studio was officially founded in June 2011 by the veteran animator Masao Maruyama. He founded Mappa at the age of 70. Yes, you heard it right. 70. And the name is an acronym for Mariyama Animation Produce Project Association. Mariyama wanted to work in an environment that offered more creative freedom. This desire led him to break away from Mad Studio on his own to launch the MAPA Studio. The name MAPA, however, got popular once the studio picked up one of the most famous shows worldwide. Like Attack on Titan, a show that no other studio was ready to produce due to the sheer magnitude of the task. But there came in MAPA with a small size but big ambition to take on this challenge. Next up is Jujutsu Kaisen, which is the prized position of MAPPA that made them popular worldwide. It had everything from smooth animation to detailed art style and picture perfect frames which made it one of the best pieces from anime to come out in 2020. Masao Maruyama set up MAPPA in the first place to escape the corporate pressures and restrictions he had been experiencing at Madhouse before he left. This was the case at first but from the outset the company was a success which attracted more productions, increased the workload and meant the company needed to grow. Every year, MAPA has taken on more and more projects with increasing workload and shorter deadlines as they look to deliver on the promise of high quality productions. The biggest flex that the studio has is that they take multiple anime projects at the same time and even then, the production quality stays pretty much top notch. Take the year 2023 for example. Everyone can agree that Winland Saga, JJK and Attack on Titan will be in contention for anime of the year. Guess what? All of these anime are produced by MAPPA and they are some of the best looking anime ever made. This is on top of them having a movie project and Hell's Paradise. No studio has ever done what MAPPA is doing right now. Rest of the industry is just playing catch up. But all of this success has come at a cost. MAPPA is renowned for its production and its quality but is even more infamous for the working conditions of their employees. The anime industry is known to be toxic but MAPPA has a special place in it. And you know all the overworked and underpaid employee allegations are true when their director looks like this. Zom 100 has actually revealed what working at MAPPA is like. Aside from all this, what has made MAPPA a household name is the high quality anime production with a 2D and 3D blend style animation and most importantly the balls to take on production of some of the most famous shows. Anyhow, MAPPA is no longer the new kid on the block. The MAPPA effect has changed the anime landscape and if the Shibuya arc is going to live up to its hype, which by the first episode it seems like it would, MAPPA would undoubtedly be the king of animation for years to come. If you guys like this video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe, comment down below and let us know what other topics we should be covering on our channel. We see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and peace.